No, it's saying bring them, bring the person. So again, to the Mormon and the Mormon students, please rally behind the mass movement. Your slogan should only be about freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. It should be about bringing the constitutional monarchy back into play. Because, put it this way, before 1974, Ethiopia was built off of emperors, empresses, kings, queens, princes, princesses, nobles, and dignitaries. So, we have to understand that the, that the foundation of what they call themselves on was built by agency. And we can never let that history go because that history is what binds us. Not only to the earth, but even to the cosmos. So we have to understand so that we have to be more mindful of what we're fighting for. Yes, we understand that they finally looking at what's going on over there with the bloodshed. And we, and we do say thank you to that. But we want to see if their word is their bound. If they're going to really do something about it. If this bill get passed. Does that mean we're going to stop talking? No. The mass movement will continue until the liberation of Ethiopia is acquired. And the bringing back of the constitutional monarchy that Emperor Haile Selassie I gave to the people. And revise. So be mindful of that to the students. Be mindful of that and change your slogan. And rally behind the mass movement. And support us. Support us because we're doing it not for no interest of money. We're not doing this to get famous. We're not like no ready ass to make no one hit and flex it their money or profit. No, we do it because we love Ethiopia and we love the whole Africa. We love our emperor. I do want to say while ago, understand? So with that, may the Lord bless the item, keep the item safe, and bless it be. Ja! Rastafari, Emperor Haile Selassie, the first of his majesty. Yes, greetings to the item in the name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie, the first one, God. Amen. Bless it be. Ja! Rastafari, Emperor Haile Selassie, the first of his I'm Brother Ralph, uh, Levi Amaziah at the Church of Haile Selassie, the first in New York. And as the Bridgen said, and anyone who's keeping up on current events, mm -hmm. you find out now that the United States of America has put out a resolution in the Senate and in the Congress, and they are recognizing, you know, the violations that is going on in Ethiopia and Ethiopia's government misappropriation of power as part of the anti-terrorist organization and group where they're using that power now to basically oppress and charge people with phony charges you know to arrest them and kill them you know with some sort of justification so you know now the human rights people are putting pressure so all of it is good because it shows say, that the mass movement is, is real sure. and it shows that there are people out there who are listening to what we're saying and that we're not just saying things because we want to make up things or cause trouble. But, you know, again, to serve God is to serve humanity. Sure. So we're looking at the human rights violations that's going on. And, you know, for the Amhara and Amara people, you know, we say that's good if they now are looking at what's going on to the Ethiopians in general. But at the same time, the Amhara people and those who are being oppressed, they're fighting for something that fundamentally is good, you know, because no one wants to be oppressed in the land that they're living in, period. But... You got to look at the government which is running the place. You understand? And you're fighting to get a voice in a government that don't care about you anyway. You understand? Unless there is a restoration of the throne of Emperor Haile Selassie I and a liberation of Ethiopia out of the hands and clutches of communism. 
unless there is some change in the government of Ethiopia. And when I say change in the government, I mean, again, the restoration of the throne of Emperor Haile Selassie I, the reinstatement of constitutional monarchy, all of the things that the people are really fighting for, it come like a pipe dream. Because remember again, 1974, the people were behind Mengistu and the people said, yes, we want this change. We want this change because this new form of government, this new philosophy was supposed to bring about some sort of miraculous change from, 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 from the, the clutches of monarchy. And look where it put the people today that they're being killed and slaughtered by their own government elite group. You understand? They say that there's a democracy in Ethiopia, yet people are being killed for, for, for speaking out against their right. So you want to get have a voice in, in the clutches of the enemy, in the clutches of the same people who are oppressed. They're never going to give you a voice. They'll give you appeasement, but they won't give you a voice and, and, and something that really matter because they cannot change the status quo. So the slogan should be restoration of the throne and the dynasty of Emperor Haile Selassie I in Ethiopia and the liberation of Ethiopia and all of Africa from the clutches of communism, socialism, and all kind of ism and schism that is not monarchy. True. You understand? Because that's the only way that Ethiopia is going to have some sort of stability, is going to have rights, is going to have a voice and have a standard and, 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 and a position in, in the world matters of today. Instead of being looked upon as a place where, you know, they talk about it like, like, like it was like the Middle Ages. You understand? Dictatorship tactics to oppress people so people who are supporters of the mass movement those of you who are first brought coming into this broadcast keep supporting the mass movement keep watching the videos keep sharing the videos keep discussing the, the topics that we discuss bring them up and and bring these things into the consciousness of the people that that you love and the consciousness of people world worldwide you understand because the resolutions are good because that's something put on the table but there's more to the story and we need more to happen you understand ethiopia never be free and no matter what you try to ask for from, from the government, the same government, the same government that overthrew monarchy, overthrew His Majesty government, and you and, and under His Majesty reign and rule was, was, the, was the period and time of Ethiopia's biggest prosperity and growth and development. No, what are you talking about? That's backwardness if, you, if you're not looking at that, you know. The prosperity and the stability of Ethiopia under Haile Selassie I is historic. You can read about it. It's there. You can't lie about it. But from 74 to today, there's a need for the mass movement because Ethiopia can't get no rest, have no peace. You understand? So think about it again, people. Keep sharing the videos. Keep clicking in. Call the church, visit the church, 470A Gates Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. You understand? And come let us reason and, 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 and bring about a, a, a change in this 21st century. Emperor Alice Lassie the first, live it. Bless it be. Emperor Alice Yes, greetings in the name of the true and living God, Emperor Haile Selassie the first. My name is Brother Dwight, um, but from the Church of North America, Bible the Christian Haile Selassie the first, uh, novice Levite, Brother Josedak. And the first thing I want to say is that we have 
to join the mass movement. Anyone that is watching right now, you have to contact us and support us because to join the mass movement is like running a race that you are destined to win. You understand? Because as we can see, the proof is in the pudding. You know, right now, sanctions have been placed on Ethiopia from the United States. And why has that sanction has been placed? Because when you look at it, the government of Ethiopia is a fraud. You understand? And why are they a fraud? Because they're not looking into the best interest of the Ethiopian people. That's how come they can have other countries come in and, you know, basically uproot the lives of Ethiopian people that have been there for centuries sure. of generations, sure. you know? So support us, support the mass movement, because to support the mass movement is to support truth. And we can see that it's our words and our movement that has brought about the sanction. Some will say no, but I say that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. You understand? So that same word now has to be true in order for it to be the word. And what have we been saying? Emperor Haile Selassie I is the true and living God. You understand? And his monarchy, his government has to be restored back into Ethiopia. No questions about it. You understand? And when that word go out, which is truth, however it's going to manifest, it's going to manifest because the word is God. You understand? So join us. Join the mass movement. You know what I'm saying? Contact the Church of Emperor Haile Selassie I. Come under the wings of the Abuna Emmanuel Fox because it's under his leadership that we have gotten this far. You understand? It's under his leadership that we can know that Ethiopia is the only thing for us as a people. And the monarchy of Emperor Haile Selassie I, restoration there is needed. Sure. And to the Amhara and the Orama people, it is good that you are protesting and that your words are being heard. But you have to remember as well, you are coming from a long line of kings. Sure. You understand? And not only just king, but... You have the king of all the other kings on earth. The king of kings, emperor, Haile Selassie I. So, you have nothing to be ashamed about. You have to call about constitutional monarchy. Because to call about constitutional monarchy is that same fight for humanity. That same fight for your freedom. That same fight for your land. You understand? So, think about it, people. Join us. You understand? Come communicate with us, get in contact with us, question us, but come and join us because to join the mass movement, I will say it again, it's, to, it's basically you are running a winning race. Sure. So with that, blessed be John Rastafari Emperor Ali Salas the first living. One God. Yes, greeting in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor the Selassie I, Adam Malak, Amen. Yeah, my name is Priest Pedel, and you know, here, Ethiopia stretched out her hands on to God, Emperor the Selassie I. 1935 to 41, the whole of Ethiopia cried because fascism was going to take over your land, the oppressor, the fascism. Now, I'm going to go into who and who um, attack Ethiopia, but His Majesty was there. The crown was there. No, Ethiopia is at one of its lowest points in history again, coming from communism, which is an, another form of fascism, which the, the Prime Minister become the king. Now, you know I mean? The Prime Minister become the king. And his councils are, are, are royalties. We, we, don't, we don't appreciate that. Like you want to turn people to fools. Like people don't know that you set up your own kingdom. Sure. We reject that. Sure. You understand? We reject that. As, royal, as royalties, we want the restoration of his imperial majesty and prior to the first government. Because Socrates and Plato saw the philosopher king as the best government, not communism. It will never be common, communism. Communism come just a day. Royalty been around for thousands of years. Thousands. From the beginning. Yeah, like from the beginning. 
So we can confuse history while to his majesty accomplishment what he has bring to Ethiopia through world events, events that he has you know master. No, his children is his seed come down to grandchildren now and great grandchildren who going to come on the same throne of David and Solomon. He has that God throne. So we again Ethiopia is stretching out his dear hands for the dynasty of Emperor Aidi Selassie I to return to Ethiopia to rule his people. You understand? So you know, I don't want to stress out the people, but with that, you know, it's in Pierre Man's Empire, this is the last verse to live it. Yes, greetings in the name of his Imperial Majesty, Emperor, this is the last verse. My name is Eugene Anya, Navarro's priest, and I'm here again to speak to the item students, especially Ethiopian students, and people who love justice and integration, and those who love democracy. Americans are a democratic country. We love democracy here and we spread it across the world. But what is going on in Ethiopia is a farce. It is not real democracy. It's a pretense of democracy, but while behind it is still have a dictatorship. Sure. A communist dictatorship on top of that which means a godless dictatorship. There is no God in Ethiopia anymore. There is no religion in Ethiopia anymore. The Ethiopian tie with the church has taken a back seat. For the first time in Ethiopian history, the church has become non-existent and non-relevant and irrelevant in the Ethiopian history so, and Ethiopian government. So we give thanks for the resolutions that has been established in the Congress and the Senate of America to sanction Ethiopian government for these atrocities and the oppression of the Ethiopian people. The resolutions are Resolution 168 in the Senate and Resolution 128 in the Congress. We are asking you, we're beseeching you to call your Congress people, call your Senators and encourage them to bring this, these resolutions to the table and to pass it and make the sanctions become real so that democracy in, throughout the world, at least in Ethiopia, would, 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 would give the people a chance to have a say in their own government. The problem, however, is that democracy alone is not going to help Ethiopia. Ethiopia is an old and ancient nation with a lot of history. A lot of that history has been taken away from them. Think about this. Think about the fact that if the present government of, of the United States under Donald Trump decides for whatever reason that we're not going to talk about George Washington, we're not going to talk about Lincoln, we're not going to talk about the, the people who established the country, founding the founding fathers, we're not going to talk about them no more because we don't believe in what they did. But they're the ones that established the country and, 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 were, and were responsible for the country to be where it, it is. They're the ones that formed the constitution and, and established a country, a modern country. And, fight for it too. and you're going to have some young people who are going to come in and say, oh, we don't want that. We want a new thing. And we want to put those people in, in, in pasture and take away that history from the young people of the country. Do you think America would stand for that? No. So why should the Ethiopian people stand for that and accept that? This is why we say restore the dynasty of his imperial majesty, Emperor the Selassie first. No. Constitutional and restore the constitutional monarchy of Ethiopia now because, like my brother Nawal have said, it's an ancient, ancient system of government that has existed for hundreds, thousands, and millions of years because Ethiopia is the oldest nation in the world. 
Ethiopia gives the whole Western civilization civilization to Egypt and to the Greeks. Ethiopia provides civilization to China, India, Europe, South America. This is why it is important because we cannot afford to have the history of the world hidden under, or under a rock while you have people who are pretending that there's something, there's somebody who they're not. Sure, that's quite Prime Minister Dessaline, Miriam, Ayla Miriam Dessaline, pretending like he's a king, he's an emperor, he's royalty. Bon God! He's a, he's a pretender. Pretender. And a killer and a murderer. True. He should be brought to trial. in man is bridging Mengistu. So, Ethiopian students, think about it again. What it is that you want in Ethiopia. You cannot have a say in a government that don't respect you or respect your rights. The only thing that they want is power and more power and more wealth. So you have to have a, a government and a monarchy that is going to take care of you because that's what Ayla Selassie first did. Uh, yes. He thought of his children, the Ethiopian people, as his children. And therefore he protected them and, 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 and did things for them to provide a foundation and a future for them. So, again, not to stress the issue, but restore the monarchy of Ethiopia. Now, these are the things that you should be protesting for in the United Nations or in front of the United Nations and mm -hmm. and throughout the world. Again, we give thanks again for listening and support the mass movement as we go forward because we're not going to stop until the throne of Ethiopia is restored and constitutional monarchy is restored. True. The pure man is then brought to us. Blessed be Jah, Emperor, Ali Salas, the first of